Apprenticeships in manufacturing are varied. Some are quite complex, depending upon the nature of the industry. Uh, some could be quite simple. There's uh, quite a considerable amount of work that apprentices are exposed to, depending upon the, uh, the industry itself. Um, apprentices could be doing things from basic installation work all the way up to fault finding complex machinery and equipment. The equipment and machinery is generally dependent upon the industry. Um, some industries have quite a varied amount of um, equipment, some industries not. But those that succeed are those that like to get into fault finding, like to get into maybe research and development because we're always trying new things, you know, like to get into um, programming and things like that these days, you know. You need, you need to enjoy the, the, the brain work type, nutting out problems. When I was a kid, I used to love playing with my little remote control cars. Every time I'd play with it, the battery would die after two minutes. So I thought I'd try to figure out a way to make it longer so I can play for a longer period of time. So I get bigger batteries out of my motorbike and put them in the cars. From that, I started enjoying playing with wires and I did um, electronics in year 10 in high school and really enjoyed that too. We get young lads from schools these days where they come to us and work for a day, you know, and they work for a day every week for a period of time and it allows them to see what we do as electricians and I think that's a fantastic thing. So I did um, a work experience as, with a Sparky in domestic but that was totally different to what a, this place is and you need a lot of experience to become a good electrician and it takes a lot of time, especially in an industrial place because there's that many things to learn that it takes a lot of time to figure out how everything works. You do a lot of fault finding when something goes wrong for a machine. You have to look at the drawing, see how it's all wired up, make sure you test everything and see if you can find the fault. The skills, they always grow in this place, especially in um, industrial work. We've got a lot of PLCs you can work with, motors, robots, programming, everything. It's something that you wouldn't get outside, for example, when you're doing domestic work.